AP Bio students are able to transform E. coli into expressing GFP and they'll glow green under UV light. Let's see how. First we have to prepare our plates for our bacteria which involves putting them out, boiling the Luria broth with auger and then pouring it out. Then we add amp and arabinose to pour our rest of our plates. Now that we have successfully poured our LB plates, our LB amp plates, and our LB amp arabinose plates, we're ready to move on and start the next day. Then the students pull out one colony from the E. coli starter plate and put it in their microcentrifuge tubes. We then have to add P. glow to it. Now our tubes have our P. glow and our bacteria, and we wait for the next step. Up to this point, we've kept our microcentrifuge tubes on ice. Lower temperature, lower molecular motion, less chance of our DNA or our enzymes degrading. But now that we've added P glow, we have to get our plasmid into the bacteria. That's the next step a heat shock. A heat shock is 42 degrees centigrade for 50 seconds exactly. After heat shocking, we need to feed our bacteria, then pull them out and streak them on plates, and then put them into the incubator. We're now ready to check our results. On the LB plate, we should see all kinds of growth because there's nothing on there except for food. But on the LB amp plate, the only bacteria that will grow will be the bacteria that have accepted our plasmid because our plasmid contains the amp R gene, which is ampicillin resistance gene. Now we're ready to examine the growth of our P-Glow bacteria. We will see growth on the LB AMP plate because they've accepted the plasmid. We'll get a couple of colonies. And then we will get also colonies on the LB AMP error plate. But these will be the ones that express GFP because they're on Arabinose. And Arabinose was uh, tied to the promoter of the GFP gene. They will grow, glow under UV light. These are our positive growth colonies that are expressing amp R, but will they glow under UV light? And yes, they do. We are bacteria gods.